Okay, um, next problem. Derive the Taylor series expansion of the sine function and then approximate the value of sine 60 degrees. So let's go to the solution. So the function that we are trying to estimate or approximate is the sine of a certain value. So the function is sine of x. So that um, at any value of x, we can approximate the value of the sine function using the Taylor series expression. Okay, So as we all know, to use the Taylor series expansion, we need to know the first, second, third, and nth derivative of that function. So let's compute the first derivative. So the first derivative of the sine function is cosine. So uh, f prime of x is equal to cosine x. And then the second derivative is equal to negative sine x. And then the third derivative is equal to negative cosine x. And then the fourth derivative is equal to sine x. The fifth derivative is equal to cosine x. So parang pabalik-balik lang siya. Okay. So for this uh, case, let's say we'll only consider up to fifth order na approximation. And then let's set the x value to be equal to zero. Because we, we all know the value of the sine and cosine function at zero. For example... At uh, x is equal to 0, the value of sine of 0 is equal to 0. And then, the value of cosine of 0 is equal to 1. Therefore, the value of negative sine of 0 is 0. And then, the value of the negative cosine of 0 is negative 1. And then, sine of 0 is 0. And then, um, cosine of 0 is equal to 1. Okay? So, parang, alo, uh, parang ano lang siya, um, merong, meron siyang pattern. Okay, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on and so forth. Okay, therefore, we can now use this uh, derivative values to our uh, Taylor, Taylor series expansion of the sine function. And again, as I have mentioned, for a fifth order approximation of the sine function, the Taylor series expansion will be uh, f of h is equal to 0 plus uh, 1 times h minus 0 times h square all over 2 factorial minus 1 times h cube all over 3 factorial plus 0 times h raised to 4 over 4 factor factorial plus 1 times h raised to 5 all over 5 factorial. Or simplifying, generally the Taylor ex expansion C, the Taylor series expansion of the sine function will be just this one. Okay? So that uh, for any value or for any angle, for any value of h, we can approximate the value of a, uh, the sine function using this expression. Okay? And then, uh, take note that h must be in radians kasi hindi pwede yung degree in approximating the sine function. So, for h is equal to 60 degrees or that's equal to pi over 3 radians, we can now use the Taylor series expansion to, siya, to compute for the approximate value of sine of 60 degrees. Therefore, f of pi over 3 is equal to this expression and then let's uh, substitute h is equal to pi over 3 that would give us an approximate value of 0 0.8660